XOXO, Gothic Girl. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> loves what's up it's me Audra and welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new I'm not sure how you got here but certainly I'm glad you came and if you are new here well you're in for a treat all right today is a very special Monday because it is new makeup nonsense bingo bam, 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 bam. As you know, I have been participating in this uh, this year, actually, is the first time that I've really been doing this with my friends, Emily Han Han and the lovely Teresa of Teresa is Dead. But this week, we have a special guest by the name of Lacey of Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. Lacey is back on YouTube, big, beautiful, and fantastic with us doing ma new makeup nonsense bingo. Don't ask questions about the weird character I took on. It's the hair <laughs> and the makeup. <sighs> I'm feeling so amazing. Anyway, I'm very excited to be doing this with my three fabulous friends. And if you have not already, please head on over to all of theirs and subscribe to their channels. When you're done watching this video, make sure you check out theirs. It will all be linked in the description box Be Low. Also, another thing is that if you don't know what new makeup nonsense bingo is, what it is, is it's a bingo game with adult libations. Speaking of adult libations, I have something new today. I've been trying to bring like a new booze every time. And this time we have the um, punk lemonade. Y'all see this? It looked exciting. And it's by, it's Bee Nectar Cider. So let's go ahead and pop this puppy open and hope that I don't hurt myself because that's my life, right? Right. Ooh. All right, now as I start to taste this, what I want you to do, don't worry about it falling on the floor, everything's fine. I'm gonna go ahead, scooch on over and show y'all what we're gonna be working with. Is it worth it? I'm sorry, okay. bingo card that I have selected. I always choose an odd numbered card and this is card numero tres. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm so excited to talk trash on some makeup or love some makeup, perhaps buy some makeup. <laughs> when will it ever ship here? Who even knows? I finally got my comfy today. That was exciting. I know you were like, what's your random fact? That's my random fact. I got my comfy today and now I officially have three comfies and I'm comfortable. All right, let's get started. And before I actually get started, because I said, let's get started, and then I was like, oh yeah, if you wanna play bingo, all the information's below. Come on, join us, it's fun, it's scary. Be a part of the spider community. Ooh. Also, this look is gonna be in a video probably tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, who knows? I'm mysterious. All right, let's actually get started now. I'm super sorry, let us go. Let us, let us go forth and make up. All right, so first up we have the Midas Cosmetics and Drench Cosmetics collaboration. It's gonna be Genesis. First of all, I love the art, okay? I have not seen it release release yet, so let me just go double check and see if it's like been um, like showcased. Let's see. Let's see if it's been showcased because I wanna see if it's, cause it's coming out late February, which I feel like this is late February. Like, is it late February? I don't know. February is like 12 days, so how do I know? But I was just seeing if there had been like a big reveal yet, and I was like, has there been? And I'm like going to Midas right now, because here's the thing, Midas and Drench together, match made in heaven. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what that is like I oof, the way that I'm getting excited like just thinking about it because I feel like it's just gonna be such a beautiful palette I haven't seen a reveal yet I am actually not gonna be disappointed and I know I'm gonna snap it up like zip zip I, like, you don't even have to talk to me about it I'm gonna buy it like it doesn't even matter so what what square no actually mm, yeah mm, mm, should I do that mm. 
I'm not gonna use a square for that yet because I don't have like the concept of the palette yet. I'm not gonna use a square. So we're just gonna keep chugging along, which by the way, this is quite delicious. I think it would go better with some vodka. So we've got a cup. That's not water, it's vodka. Hey, what is this for? It came in my thing. I used it to crush ice. But does anybody know what it's actually for? Because like, <laughs> Bo's drinking water. So next up we have the beauty. We have something from Beauty Blender. It's the Dream Swirl Blend and Cleanse Set. It, it's a beauty blender. Here's the thing, <laughs> let me just, I am not going to pay that kind of money for the Beauty Blender. I'm sorry. It's just, it's not going to happen. Not on my watch. As long as I'm alive, which we'll see how long that is. No, I'm just kidding. But like, I just can't. Like, it's $20. $20. And I just... Also, I kind of like mine to be darker in tone because I am a brown person, in case you didn't know. But I'm a brown person, and being a brown person, I actually do not like all of my, like even an orange one sometimes bothers me. I think that's one of the things that I kind of like about this one from Midas, is that like, when I get it dirty, it's not like a huge, like I just don't feel like I'm like, ugh. I don't feel like, there's all this brown makeup everywhere. And I just, I don't need a, a it's the same shit, like nothing changed. <laughs> what changed? It's just like a new, they're like, this one looks like ice cream. Okay. But you know what, they should stick with what they know and what they know is those damn beauty blenders. So that is, what are we gonna call this on the, the thing? I'm gonna call it a true cash grab because it's the same shit. It truly is. Like, nothing has changed. Like, it's just, it's, they just changed the color and they're like, new beauty blender, bitches. Like, guess what we did? You're like, what? They did <laughs> like the same thing we always do. It's a new but bad up lens up. All right, so we're gonna call that a true cash grab and we're gonna roll with that. Boom shaka laka. All right, so next up we have a Melt Cosmetics mini packaging. That's their new thing. It's the same shit, but it's like mini. So here's a couple of things first. I'm like, mini. Here's a few of these. I think the lipsticks look lovely, but I kind of just splurged on this like Marc Jacobs, like, and I really don't like the stacks idea. I haven't used it, I know, but I like, I just don't like it. Uh, and that's why I won't ever buy it because I don't, I don't like, I don't like it. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with the stacks at all. Cause I know me and I am hella clumsy. I am the person who's going to just like, I have things in my hands and then they're just not in my hands and they're broken. So I just feel like that whole little melt stack, like things would just dry out because of like the way that I live my life, which isn't right. So, I mean, okay. Like it's pocket sized packaging. I don't have anything to say. Like it's just, it's lipsticks. It's like it's everything small. It's minis and I'm too old for minis. That's what we're, do they have a square for I'm too old for this shit? Cause we need to add it. <laughs> but I would say, um, I'm gonna call it a bundle deal no one wants because I just feel like if you already have these shades, you're not gonna be like apt, like excited to buy this a fucking get. And also, like, I just don't know why, but I don't love having mini lipsticks. For one, like, I always think that I'm gonna like them and I always keep trying to buy them. I don't like mini lipsticks and I think it's because they're so freaking small that it's like, it becomes like a difficulty and lipstick lasts so long. I just don't want it in a mini size. So bundle deal no one wants. Boom shakalaka. We starting off strong at this whole bag. Yeah, what's up? I don't know where I'm coming from with that and I apologize. Don't look at me. Look away now. Look away. Ooh, so this was announced, um, I feel like last week or the week before, like, I don't know. <sighs> Y'all, time means nothing to me. Anyway, the Valentine's um, release for Midas came out and it is glorious. 
Okay, so here's, <laughs> I probably should have like worked on that because like I just kind of, oh, got a little too excited. But like, I just feel like they're so pretty and I have like the mini that I haven't used yet because I've been rearranging my makeup and trying to like have some kind of order, but like, why? But I like got that little mini palette before and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I feel like this is so fun. And here's the thing, I think you can use it whenever you, I mean, if you're judging by the way that I look today, obviously, I'm gonna wear my makeup however the fuck I want to. So I'm down for this, like I want to buy it. I wanna buy it. Can I have it? Here's the thing, oh, can I have it? Oh, I want it. Like I do want it, cause like the pinks, I feel like I can make more cause I'm getting more like, adventurous I like every time I turn around I'm trying to do a little bit more adventurous shit with my makeup and I feel like I could just do something so fun with these and I'm looking forward to it and I just want it oh I just want it okay wait okay so what card what are we gonna put this on the card because it's got so many little different things in it oh gosh Ooh, and there's like lippies Ooh, oh I want I want to live my life like this okay hold on let's see I'm gonna call this, drunk me would buy it, sober me would buy it, but drunk me would definitely like not even hesitate. It would just be like, and since I'm not drunk yet, I'm holding on. Also, I need to save my monies for all the fucking groceries I'm rebuying. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna pay, say drunk me would buy it. I'm getting close to a bingo, y'all, and I am very excited. Yes, can you believe it? I'm gonna get bingo in like 20 minutes, and y'all gonna be like, Audra, the tides have turned. And I'm gonna be like, ain't no baby. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, next up we have the all new Blockbuster eyeshadow palette. Let me just, let me just stop you right here. Okay, first of all, I have no nostalgia for Blockbuster video. I hated Blockbuster video. I hated it. And here's why. Blockbuster video was what started my anxiety with like everything and like getting things to places on time. Now, as you know, I have ADHD which, and I have some very intense time blindness, okay? Blockbuster video was such a stressful ordeal. If you could manage, if you could manage to get a video, like a movie that you actually wanted to watch and not just rent Jawbreaker for the 39th time. You had to turn it in, like precisely by 11.58 a.m. the following day. I know they said noon, but they were lying because if you turned it in at noon, late fees, late fees, they were gonna hit you with the late fees. And the stress and anxiety of like trying to like Get to Blockbuster before they charge you the exorbitant fee. I have no good feelings about Blockbuster video. I don't understand how people did. There's other rental places. Like if they had a Hastings palette, bitch, I'm in. I am in. But I don't have any like nostalgic warm feelings for Blockbuster. In fact, I was the person who laughed on the grave of Blockbuster. I set the bitch on fire. I was like, ha ha, now you're never gonna come at me for that $127 with a late fee, bitch. Like I was not, <laughs> this is not for me. This is not for me, okay? This is, I don't know, I like this, this only makes me angry and it's like, I feel terrible because I'm sure there are people who are like, oh my God, Blockbuster, da, da. I can't, I don't. It, like the anxiety I feel even looking at this palette, like I'm getting stressed out. I'm like thinking about all the times that I was like driving recklessly, like fucking fast and furious, like driving under a fucking semi just to get this bitch there. Like y'all know I need to put this away. Now, obviously, this is a collab with somebody who's not known for makeup. That's what we're gonna call this because that's the mood I'm in and I do what I want. But, um, ooh, oh, actually, no. This is neutral with a pop of blue because I wanna save that collab just in case, just in case, just in case. But I am definitely going to put this in neutral with a pop of blue because like that's exactly what the fuck this is. Like there's a little pop of blue, it's a neutral palette, and also, it's just the anxiety that it's causing me as we speak, es mas. I am unhappy. 
I am unhappy with how stressed out I feel right now. Like looking at that palette just like brought me back to these days of like not even having pants on, okay? Not even having pants on. Underwear, tank top, rushing to turn in a video so I didn't get charged another exorbitant fee. And they charged you like the whole thing, $3.99. You were like, bitch, what? No. Fuck that palette and fuck Boston Buster video. Moving on. <laughs> Up next we have Morphe has repackaged palettes. Is anyone surprised? Is it, in this part, in, in this stage of the game, are we surprised? They repackage their nine pan palettes. For life. Nine pan artistry palettes. So like, we got Pretty in Peach. We got Hot For You. We got Khaki Calling. We got Natural Territory. We got Vintage Rose. We got Smoke and Shadow. I, like none of these. All right, so looking at this, it's not an oversized Morphe palette, but it is a Morphe palette, and I, I'm gonna call it an oversized Morphe palette because there's nine of them, fuck it. And honestly, it is oversized for what the fuck it is. Like, I, we're not gonna, what we're not gonna do this time is be smashed and sad. So I'm gonna call it an oversized Morphe palette because honestly, like the nine of them, it doesn't, it never needed to be nine. I don't know who told them that it should be nine. I feel like we need to revisit the nine pan palette and the point of the nine pan palette because the point is not to have some basic boring palette. The point is to have a very cool, cohesive story using only nine shades. You know what I mean? It's not to be like, oh, we're gonna make a nine pan and then all of them are gonna have like a beigey type shade in them. And this is something I really need for a lot of these brands to stop doing because here's the thing. I get it, not everybody's gonna buy every single one of these. I understand that. However, even a person who is like a makeup minimalist has that shade. If they bought one palette, they have that shade. And so I feel like when you're re-releasing these, like I feel like if you wanna re-release or repackage, I feel like you should just like add a little extra spark to it. And I think that an extra spark would have just been playing with it, just like a just like a smidget, but it's Morphe. Like asking them to be creative is just like asking a bear to not shit in the woods because they do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> next. <laughs> All right, up next, y'all. I ran into this last time and I was like super excited because I didn't know what it was gonna look like because I love the fruit bat and like it's little chubby cheeks and like all the little things and I was like, fruit bat are my life. I love bats, I grew up with bats, okay? This is the thing, I grew up on an island in Okinawa, Japan, all right? And on that island, there were always bats out in the trees at night and like you would shine a layout and they'd be like, ah! And they're like little like bat eyes would be like bloop, 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 and they were just having a great time. And when I saw this, that's what it reminded me of. It reminded me of home and y'all, it's purple. So here's what's gonna happen. Please hold while I access my accounts. I just need to see how much it is. I just need to see how much it is. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just looking, I'm just looking. Don't judge me. So I just found out that there is gonna be a pre-order on February 26th and your girl got the email because listen, listen, listen. It is purple and it's bats. And you can't, it's opening on February 26th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which means 2 p.m. my time, which is the time that I feed Bo, which obviously means I should buy it. I, like, that, th where this is going on my bingo square, like, look at those shimmers. They're calling to me, and like, the flying fox shade, bitch, yes! Like, I feel like I could just be a purple queen, and I could feel it deep down in my soul that this is going to solve all of my problems, which even though it's actually not going to, it feels like it is, and that's what matters! Let me have this purple queen with my palette! I want the Flight Club palette so bad. The, like even the like weird beigey colors, I have plans for. I have plans, I want this palette. I put it on my face. That is a new bingo square we have. 
put it on my face. And that is what I am giving this. I want to put it on my face because it's glorious, it's beautiful, it's purple, it is batty. Like I just, if it has any kind of creepy crawler creatures, like I'm definitely probably gonna like it, especially if it's done well. Like y'all, y'all. You saw how I lost my shit on The Collective, okay? The Collective Cosmetics, that highlighter is still, it's bae. I love her. I love her and I want to like, uh, uh, want to live my life. Okay, okay, we're done. I want it. Okay, next. Next. <laughs> okay. Ready yourselves. Steady yourselves because I... <sighs> Adept Cosmetics just revealed their new palette. It's $68. I, oh my God, I don't, I, I know I can't afford to buy this because $68, I want it so bad though. It is gorgeous. Look how pretty. I think it's Ninhydrin is the name, Ninhydrin, like, I, like, I thought it was gonna be smart and I'm not, I'm not gonna be smart. But it's so pretty. This is like more my color story. I know people had that, like I, Plain Jane was a lot of other people. This is more my realm. Like I just like to be like a little bit of the dark queen that I am with a, like a lot of bright sparkle and all of that. This is really, <sighs> like where do I put this? Like I, want, I also wanna put it on my face because I, it's like, I feel like all those shimmers are really nice and I also feel like the two mattes that are in there, are very well designed to just kind of be like, like here, like in the upper inner of your eye, um, to like be on the outside and that these shimmers are here to like do the business. They are here to give you the goods. They are here to slap your in your face and make you go, ah. So like, ooh, listen. This Adept palette is my kink. That's what we're gonna say. Like, let's see where it fits at on the bingo card. Multi-chromes, duochromes, that's what I thought. Okay, the, sorry, it took me a second because I was gonna make this all the multi-chromes. Yeah, I was right, but I wanted to make sure that it was multi-chromes because I didn't want to be a full-on hardcore cheater. I just want to be like a slight cheater. And so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and name this all the multi-chromes. Yeah, boom. All right, y'all, by the way, this drink has so much vodka in it and then I also added that like pink lemon punk lemonade, the punk lemonade with the cool bee and like things have gone bad. Next up, Violet Voss has cherry, which is weird because it doesn't remind me of cherries. Like there's not even a like red, red, red in there to remind me like that this is a cherry palette. I don't understand naming your palette cherry and then the shades are peach. Like why didn't you just call it peach? Cause they're like 18 cherry tones, pops of red to deep. I don't see that. I am looking at this and I'm just like, who hurt you? I get that it was like around the Valentine's Day time. Like I do get that, but it's just like, even then, there's like, I, I get that the green is for like the leaves. Do cherries have leaves? Don't get mad at me if the cherries don't have leaves. <laughs> do cherries have leaves? There's cherry trees, so fuck yeah. Okay, never mind. I answered my own question. So I see the greens. I just, where is the where where is the cherry? This is giving very much nectarine. I don't like just 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 do a Valentine's Day nectarine and make it make it a new thing. Just be like this Valentine's Day, get them a nectarine. Like get them a nectarine. I don't want a nectarine. I would prefer a kiwi if you were gonna give me Valentine's fruit. But like, I just I don't understand. This is a really boring palette too. It's just like, that is a basic as fuck neutral palette. And I, I don't understand why it's so boring. Like they had all these opportunities to not be boring. And like, it's super boring. What happened, Violet Boss? 
you were on the train to like doing good things and then you just fell down into a hole. They were on a good train and now they're on the train to Busan. <laughs> You'd have to watch the movie to get it, but like. Anyways, next. <laughs> Let me just start by saying that I know that I am being heavily influenced by the titties, but I still want the palette. So <laughs> this is the Capricorn palette from Alien Cosmetics. I've been wanting to get stuff from them. And I know that this is just like another rainbow palette. I can see it, we're, we're, I already know it. I can see it looking at it. But I wanna try their formula. I like that blue in there. I like the green. I like, I feel like, here's what I like about this palette. Looking at it, it feels very, very much like a good companion palette. So like if you missed out on like the colored rain, vivid pigments, like palettes like that, like this is a good substitution, I think perhaps, possibly, if the formula is badass. But this is a good like little, like a good spot to start with. Like I, I kind of really look, at, I'm, I'm excited and the artwork is giving me life. Like there's titties. Um, we need to make that a bingo square. Ta-da! But I just really, I don't know. There's something about this that I do want to try. It looks really cute. I like that they have like like some embossing in here. Like they have Alien Cosmetics embossed in. I think that this would be a good first palette for me to try from them. And I love, here's the thing that I like about this. I Because when, once you start getting into gut, buying like tons and tons of single shadows, shit like this is bomb because it gives you a bunch of um, matte shades that you're most likely going to use and you use them in tandem with all your single shadows. And so this is a palette that I would truly enjoy for me because I would be like, yes, bitch, as long as the formula's bob. Somebody let me know about their formula. Teresa, Lacey, Emily, why don't y'all tell me, how's their formula? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have this as another rainbow palette, but I'm pretty excited. I am pretty excited by what is happening here. All right, next. Ah, uh, yes, it is my nemesis, Tower 28. I see you've put out new products, Tower 28, and you expect me to come back around to your wily ways because you have Blush. Well, not me. Not today, not tomorrow. Not the day after that. I don't know where all this came from, but honestly, um, I was being a villain, a super villain, I guess. A super villain, and they always sound weird. I, for those of you that don't know, have a vendetta that will never go away. <laughs> I've tried, I've tried. I even looked at these being like, oh, maybe. And you know what happened? What happened is I remembered the last time I said, oh, maybe with Tower 28. And then I just had like, not even a highlighter, not even a highlighter from their bronzers. And yes, part of it is my fault. I got sucked into the hype of like light white women telling me that they loved it. And I fucking bought in and it didn't go for my skin. But <laughs> the rage is still there. Also, I, like, I can't do it, I can't buy from them because I just know, I feel it deep in my soul that I would buy any of these and they wouldn't look good on me. I would just be like sad, I would be angry and I already have enough cream blush, I do, because honestly, like I have, I have a bunch from Salt New York, which I've been wearing those, they're amazing. I have, I have one from Milani, I have one from Milani, I love that. I have some from Ritual Defeat. Like I have, I you can only have so many cream products because they expire at a pretty high rate. And and I'm in Texas and you know normally it's hot, but like we're about to go through another like little heat wave. Y'all, it was like 50, de 50 degrees today and it was like positively hot. Like <laughs> I, that's why I'm wearing a tank top because I started sweating and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot what it's like when the electricity's on and you're not like bundled up and everything. Like you just sweat, you have your heat on like a normal person. Anyway, back to Tower 28. It's a no from me, dog. I know that so many people are gonna want to buy it and congratulations to you. My vendetta does not have to be your vendetta. I just can't let it go. You cannot, listen, you, you can't have Aries, Leo, Scorpio in your chart like this and let go of a grudge. I just want you to know that. 
Like I, I am a Taurus with all of that. No, no, this is this grudge is gonna be lifelong. Like somebody, if you want me to, somebody's gonna have to send this shit to me for me to put it on my face because I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it again. I'm not falling for your tricks, Tower 28. My feelings are hurt and I can't do it again. Um, I'm gonna call it a product that is a catfish. <laughs> Because I feel very strongly that they're gonna catfish me and they're gonna be like, yes, <laughs> it'll look good on your skin. Just kidding, you're too brown. So moving on, <laughs> moving on, y'all. I feel like the, I feel like this might be hitting me. Let's. We have Nabla Cosmetics coming out with a mascara. Here's the thing, the package, amazing. I have a feeling that this mascara is like 23, 24, $25, some ridiculous amount, right? So that you can have a cat head on your mascara. And I, I, for, like the packaging itself is cute until you like take off its head. Somehow that bothers me. <laughs> like every time I use this mascara, I'm just like beheading this. Cat. I don't know why I've thought about it in that regard, but it's just like meow every time, meow every time. That's all I can see. I cannot deal with it. Like I can't, I cannot, like I understand. I, and honestly, I have too much mascara. I have too much mascara anyway. I don't need another mascara. I think the packaging is, but I can't keep it. I cannot behead the cat. Like, y'all tell me if you feel comfortable. There's something about like, just ripping the cat's head, like, <laughs> like, like, I don't, something, is, it's making me feel like serial killer-ish. I don't think I have a square for this one. I just think that that's just like, all right, we're doing a thing. Like, there needs to be one that's just like, why are we still trying to make mascara fancy? Because, like, that's too much to put into, like, a square, but, like, can we just, it's mascara. Like, if I review mascara, I'm like, look, it, I, they're longer than they were and fuller. Like, that's gonna be my review. Like, I, all the mascara is boss. I love, like, my, 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 my child mascara. <laughs> my petite and pretty. I love this. You know what I mean? Like, I like this a lot. It's great. It's fan fantastic and phenomenal. I'm like, oh, yes, bitch, you're great. But, like, realistically, like, let's, let's be real. Like, it's still mascara. It's still mascara. All right, so I have did not have a scare, a square scare. I did not have a square for that. So we're moving on up to Becca. All right, we have Becca. They've made a face palette. It's featuring all new shades of highlighters. I don't know why this is making me laugh. It didn't make me laugh when I originally like. <laughs> I think it's, okay, here's the thing. I, looking at this is upsetting my psyche. Why wouldn't you put the two small ones up at the top and the two big ones at the bottom? I just, I need for people to understand that there are people, it, like I need, the people who make this. Listen, those of you who make packaging, some of us, some of us out in this world like some form of symmetry. And while you think you're being cute, many of us, our eyes cannot handle what you've done here. It's four, it's four circles. Put the two small circles up together and the two big circles down together. It's fine. I'm just saying. There are a lot of people who won't buy it just because you've done that. Anyway, it's a limited edition face and eye palette and I don't understand what I would be doing with this, but it's featuring all new shades of highlighters, blush and bronzer. And so as you go through, there's, there, cause there's like Escapist, which has light pink with golden rose pearls. Then you're gonna have Calypso Cor Cor Coral Coral. Carl, Carl, Carl. I'm sorry for that. Va va boom and gold drotter. Is this the whole like? Who is this? Who is this for? 
Who is this for? Who is this for? Because it's not me. This is not for me. And I used to love Becca. I used to stand Miss Rebecca. I used to do, I was like, Rebecca, whatever you want, I will do. No. No. So thing one, they've made a limited edition palette that is supposed to be for everyone. And I think that that's, limited edition's already stupid, but uh, trying to like fit one palette for everyone is just so, 2002. Like we need to get to the point where we realize that you just really, you, you have to have a palette per person. You do. Why? Because like, look at how fucking dark gold, if you were looking at this, look at how dark gold trotter is on the lightest shade. Why, why would you buy that? It's $39. Why are you going to spend $39 and not have a shade and be like, I can't use this one. If you are of my skin tone, gold trotter is really all you're going to want to use. Cause I honestly feel like the Calypso Carl and like all of the rest of the shades are going to end up making you look like an ashy ass mess. So like you would be spending $39 for gold trotter. If you are medium, I honestly feel like gold trotter is going to probably be a little too dark for you as well and your Baba Boom, Baba Bloom is not gonna work for you. You might be able to get away with the Calypso Carl and the Escapist. I don't understand this. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know who said that they should put that out. Like it looked, the packaging is pretty, but whatever is going on in there, boo, boo. So I'm gonna actually call this a collab product that won't die because like, they just keep trying with their highlighters and it's like, it, do something different. Like they're like, it's different, but it's not different. It's the same. I'm gonna add, no, you know what? Same shit, new packaging, but it's not the same shit, new packaging. I can't call it that. I can't call it that. I can't call it that. Is it a complexion release with a terrible range? Yes. That's what we're gonna do. That feels good, that feels right. It's a complexion release with a terrible range because honestly, who let them do that? We are one away from bingo, one away. Please hold while I try to get less hot. All right, here's hoping that I get bingo soon because I am running low on battery because you know what I didn't do? Charged a bitch, all right. Like I didn't charge a new battery, so here, here we go. We're doing it like UFC style. All right. Ah, yes. Children, gather round. Let me tell you a story of a brand called ColourPop. They release the same shades over and over again in new palettes and think that we won't notice and some of us don't and some of us do. And you're a clown every time you buy it because you expect it to be exciting and it never is. You're always disappointed like dating, dating a straight cisette man. So ColourPop has uh, the Melrose collection. I, here's what I'm gonna say. If you have seven ColourPop palettes, you have all of these shades. <laughs> Listen, I understand, it's $18, I get it. I get that like, if you don't have it, like you're like, oh my God, bitch, yes. Like the shimmers. I, for, but here's the thing, for $18, you could, you could get like a couple of really amazing indie shadows. You could get a cool ones from Adept Luxy. You could get some awesome, you could get a couple awesome ones from Davina. You could hit up Adept. You, there's so many brands. This is just, it's a ColourPop palette. Remember the wine one? Like some of those shades, like here. It's here. Remember those two little ones I got and they were chalky some of the shades are right here so like it's a color pop release that's the new song i hope the others sing it now all right we are so close to bingo it like i have a diagonal like i have pressed glitter in a palette i also have like a collab with someone i know from the makeup on my way if i can get one of those to like pan out for me we will be having a great time all right so i'm bringing this up because trend mood is having one of their boxes come out if y'all really want me to get a trend mood box just like let me know but we'll see but this is the bosha 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 box i 
really like a lot of their skincare products. But here's where we're gonna get into the fun. It's, there's gonna be the feet thing. If you have not had the pleasure of using a feet peel, it's a magic. It's a magic all its own because what you do is you put this on and you just like live your best life and then you take it off and you think that you're gonna just like, no. What's gonna happen is for like four or five days, the skin on your feet is gonna get tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. And then one day it's just gonna, and then it's gonna just start peeling like a boil burst and like spiders are crawling up but it's just your dead skin peeling the fuck off revealing new healthy glorious skin underneath which i've done this because listen my heels get unruly from time to time and i do like to use these feet peels to alleviate that problem here is the thing if you want to have your feet looking like amazing and soft and fabulous by summer don't wait, okay? You need to get a foot peel now, now. Because it takes several, like, it takes so many days for it to even start peeling, and then once it starts peeling, it's it's a whole, it's disgusting. It is disgusting. And it, it kind of makes you feel bad about your life for a second. It is not amazing. It is, it, like, once, once it's all done, you're like, yes, bitch, look at my soft baby feet. And then also your feet are gonna be a little bit raw, okay? I'm not gonna lie, a little bit raw. You're gonna have a little bit of a raw foot because like you are peeling off some hefty skin, right? Right, so as you're peeling off this hefty skin, you're like living your best life, you're like ah, ah, ah. And then you get your baby raw feet. But, so you need like time to build up a little bit of like a strength so that, <laughs> I mean, we can't really go outside in the summer here in Texas. Anyway, um, it is just more skincare, like whether it's for your feet or, you know, for your face, it is just like, it's more skincare. That's all. All right, so up next we have It's Bell Cosmetics releasing some glosses. They're doing some nude shades, which I think are very, very pretty. Definitely um, are gonna hit my shade of nude. I like that. They look very glossy. They look very exciting, but it's just another lip gloss. And in the interest of me not being a drunk ass bitch, we're gonna go ahead and pop that on my bingo card as a yet another lip gloss. I do feel like they're a little bit behind with coming out with this because I feel like there was a movement like last year on nudes, you know, when uh, Prop of Beauty came out and Juvia's Place jumped on. Like there was just like a whole nude thing. Although I do think it's a good idea to come out with nude lip gloss. So, so we have that and we're getting closer to the end of this. All right, so we have Glaminatrix coming out with the U Beauty palette, which, okay. So I feel like it's very interesting because if you look at this palette, you can see like the six shades on this side go together, the six shades on this side go together. But it is confusing for my eye and it just, it might be me, it might be me. Like I'm not, I, obviously I'm not good at makeup, but I just don't know what's happening. Although I would like to try it cause I, I'm like diving in here. Cause I would like to like, I kind of want to play with that mustardy shade and it does kind of look cute. Like I want it, like I do want it. I don't have a spot for it on my bingo card, but I would definitely try it. I would definitely like, if I could, if it's in my budget, I would definitely try it. I, I feel like there's several palettes in this palette that I've seen before. And I don't want to be mean to an indie brand, but I just feel like it does kind of give me copycat vibes. Like not major, but just like kind of, because I feel like, and I'm still gonna put it as that because this is the game and I want to win. And now, gentle days and gentle thems, we come to the part of the game where I go back to the beginning and cheat. And so I am gonna call that Genesis palette with Midas and Drench a new influencer celeb brand collab. Because I can, because cheating is a part of what I do. So <laughs> I have now hit double bingo. Bam, 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 bam on this bitch and I'm gonna roll out because 
Listen, first of all, mistakes were made. I was like, oh, this will taste better with vodka. But what I didn't think about was like, Audra, you're gonna get fucking smashed. And I did. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is call that a bingo. I have a double bingo. I have a reverse L bingo. I don't know. Upside down, upside down and inside out. Can you feel it? All right. Do you know the song? Let me know. Anyways, I've hit bingo. I've talked about makeup. I've trashed makeup. I had a lovely time. I'm drunk. Now I want to go play Far Cry like I do on my Twitch. If you have not showed up to my Twitch, I think you should. It's a good time. I mostly just hang out there, play video games faceless quite often because I, my face is on YouTube. So why does it need to be on Twitch? Any who's it's, I appreciate all of you for coming. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember again please go follow my dear dear friends I absolutely love these people these are people that I spend time with talk to chat with they've been there for me through all this storm bullshit and I appreciate them so Emily Hanhan Teresa is dead and Lacey of spooky lips and fat hips go check them out if you have not already and when you go over to their videos when you go see them, let them know that the spider community says hello and drop a spider emoji for them, all right? That way they know. And also, if you made it this far, drop a spider emoji here as well. All right, thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And as usual, huge shout out to my patrons who are spooky bays, yeah. All right, you know the drill, it costs zero, zero dollars to be kind and so good for your soul because if you don't take care of it, I'm sure it's hell coming for yours. And until next time, XOXO, got the girl. <laughs> I feel so dirty. I'll be a naughty girl. We in the car, we rest dad. We doing things that the boys don't do. Boop, I got that, do, 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 do. All right, so. Uh, <clears throat> Ugh, I'm dying. I just like almost killed myself. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Uh, oh my god, that just reverberated and it was unnecessary behavior, Audra. Do, 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 and I feel like the queen of motherfucking darkness right now. Like, don't talk to me. I will snatch your fucking soul if you look at me wrong. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs>